Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another polish pickup wish list with me. We're going to be wish listing for May of 2022. And as you can see at the top, our theme is national parks and landmarks. Now, no offense truly to anybody, but I am so not interested in the theme so much so that I haven't even looked at the Facebook group. So I'm going into this completely blind. Like, this is so not like a malicious intent kind of thing. This is more a dig at myself, but it's like, I'm just not into like national parks and landmarks and stuff like that. You know, I should probably go to some. I don't think I've ever really been to many. Um, you know, I go to Las Vegas like once a year, maybe every other year. And um, one of the big things to do while you're out there is do a tour of the Grand Canyon. I've never even done that. I've never seen the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going there in September, so maybe I'll force myself to go. But that being said, I think sometimes it's better when you aren't into the theme because then the polish has to speak solely for itself. You can't be clouded by the names and inspiration as much. And who knows, maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I will find something that I like for the name. But let's go through and see what we have. You can see I have opened all the tabs up at the top. And I didn't bother with any of the top and base, hand and nail, bath and body, miscellaneous, or wax because I... I did peek at that and nothing was really calling me. So we're just going to go straight into the nail polish. So first we have 1422 Designs. This one is called Fight for Freedom. This is inspired by an image in Karapthian National Park located in Ukraine. It is a dusty blue polish with purple, blue shifting micro flakes and platinum flakes. And this is not my tone of blue. I just don't like this kind of blue but i do like the way that these flakes look in there but it's just not for me next we have adored colors and it's called is it truly worth it and this one is interesting it says it's inspired by one of the highly protected flowers that grow in the high tatras national park in slovakia even just one flower could cost you hundreds of dollars in fines wow dark purple base filled with hunter green glitter purple shreds lavender hollow blue to green iridescent micro shreds and blue to gold to green ucc flakes best on two to three coats this is my kind of purple and I'm not sure how I feel about these types of glitters running through it, but I do like, especially this picture, I really like. So I'm going to wish list that for now. Ooh, what is this guy? Alchemy Lacquers Liberty, inspired by the Liberty Bell, located in Independence National Park. It is a black flake polish with gold, green, blue, shifting shimmer, and gold reflective glitter. It's definitely an interesting color. Even with, like, ignoring the reflective glitter portion, like, which is what I try to do. I don't want to get sucked into this. Um, I mean, like, the, the reflective glitter is cool. But this is just an interesting polish. Anyways, I have two polishes from Alchemy Lacquers. I love them both. This one's going on the wish list. Next is All Mixed Up Lacquers Wiki Wachi What? And I can tell this is a thermal already. Uh, inspired by Wikiwachi Springs State Park in Florida, where they have quote unquote live mermaids. A tri thermal shifting from dark purple, violet, and ice blue with pink and green shifting shimmer and scattered hollow glitters. There's a lot going on in this guy. And you can see all three colors especially well on this photo here. It's a thermal, and I just am not big on shelf lifes with thermals. I just, I can't use them very efficiently, so I will pass. But I do really like the tri-thermals because I think they look really, really cool on longer nails. Anchor and Heart Lacquer, Cadillac Mountain Sunrise. Inspired by Cadillac Mountain in Acadia National Park, which has a reputation for incredible sunrises, the view is so popular that folks have to reserve their early AM mountaintop spot if they plan to visit between the months of June and October. Cornflower blue jelly base with orange to pink shifting shimmer and shifting pink gold green iridescent flakies. Again, not my favorite tone of blue. Whoops. Not my favorite tone of blue, um, but I do... Like, I like this kind of blue just a little bit darker, like painter's tape blue. Not quite this, but it looks really cool with those flakies in there. And I feel like I'm already, I'm only like three polishes and I feel like I've already learned so much about the world. So that's fun, but I will pass on this one. Art is Nails Forest Dreams. And this is inspired by Taurus Deal 
Payne National Park. This is a pink to gold to green multi-chrome. There's something about the multi-chromes that shift like this light kind of greeny yellow. I'm just not super into it. I like this color here, this purple in these two shots, but there's something about that really light kind of almost minty green. I'm not, I'm not into it. Like this nail on the pinky here. No, that's the pointer finger. Uh, this pointer finger nail on both shots. I don't like that color, but I don't mind the pinky purple color. So I'll pass. Atomic polish going up north. Inspired by beautiful sunsets of the Minnesota Boundary Waters and Superior National Forest, Going Up North has a purple base and is filled with purple reflective glitter and pigment that shifts between gold and red. It is opaque in two coats and a glitter top coat is recommended due to the texture of the reflecting glitter. Well, I don't own anything from Atomic Polish. I like the purple red contrast. It reminds me of those like is it like there's like a certain age group of women that can join this club where they wear like purple and red and i always see them like out for lunch when i go home to visit like my grandma or something but i'm not a big red person although i did see one red when i was clicking these open that i did get kind of sucked into so we'll see aurora five free nail lacquer ah so refreshing oh this one's cool it's got a lot going on in there this is inspired by the Great Barrier Reef. It is a metallic turquoise flaky polish with purple, pink, and orange glitter flakes that emit a rainbow of colors found in the Great Barrier Reef. Look at all those flakies. Now, everything I've ever bought in teal stains my nails. I don't care about staining because I always have nail polish on, but keep that in mind when you're buying teal. Um, but this looks like a candy wrapper and I want it. Baroness X Cloud Forest. This is like a grassy green with a bunch of little colored flakes in it. It says it was inspired by the cloud forest in Costa Rica where rainbows are everywhere you turn. The reflective uh, glitter represents the sun glimmering on the wet forest leaves. Grass green jelly base with a rainbow of neon iridescent shifting flakes, hollow shard glitter, hollow pigment, and green reflective glitter. Do they have a shot with the reflective glitter? Not. Nah. Not really. Why would you put, if you're going to put reflective glitter in it, take one of those crazy reflective pictures, right? Like, but this picture makes it look really cool. Mm, I don't know. It's like, I like it. I think it's cool, but I just am not feeling called to it. I feel like grandpa's garden is my vibe. BCB Lacquer's Phenomenon. And this is inspired by the Aurora Borealis. Described as a dark purple polish with multicolor shifting magnetic pull. Pink gold shifting shimmer and hollow flakes. Okay, so I guess it's got, yeah, it's got magnet in here. That looks cool matte. Um, but like, I just have so many dark polishes and I just am not wearing them right now. I'm only wearing brights right now for some reason. That's just what I'm drawn to. So as even though this looks cool, I just can't see myself really reaching for it anytime soon. And I... Don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to wear this in the fall, so I'll buy it now. You know, I just, I feel like that's crazy for me because I have so much. BKL Ride Together, Die Together, inspired by Pimone and Tumba from the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve in Borderlands. This is a black-based purple to red to gold multi-chrome with gold reflective glitter. We recommend a glitter top coat for maximum sparkle. Um... I look at this and I love the colors together and then I'm like, it reminds me of, oh man, what is the basketball team? The Lakers, right? Yeah, the LA Lakers. I, can you tell that I know about sports? Uh, it's like giving Lakers vibes. So I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not big on the reflective glitter. Like I, I don't dislike it. I just don't want it to be the selling point of the polish and it kind of feels like it is for this. So I will pass. Black Dahlia Lacquer. Sunflower Fields Across Ukraine. This month's polish was inspired by Ukraine's plentiful sunflower fields. Sunflowers are also a symbol of peace, and this polish was created with the hope that peace can soon be achieved by Ukraine. Um, it's a medium brown crelly with hollow orange and matte yellow glitters. That's really interesting. It reminds me of kind of like Thanksgiving and um, like fall time, and it looks like a 
dollar for every bottle sold will be donated to the Ada Fund and Adoption Center, which is a Polish charity that res rescues, treats, and provides shelter to animals affected by the war in Ukraine. So that's really cool. If you're interested in this polish, a dollar will go to charity if you purchase it. It just has such Thanksgiving vibes for me, and I'm going to be honest, you guys, I hate Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think it's the most boring holiday. It's just like food and family, and I can do that whenever I want. So, you know, I'm just going to pass. Bluebird Lacquer Rock of Sages. Okay, this is cool. I have one Bluebird Lacquer, and it's like basically the light blue version of this, but this is kind of fun. Inspired by one of my favorite places on Earth, Mesa Verde, this magical site is located in the southern Four Corners area of Colorado. You know what? That is actually an area that I would like to visit. Is I've been I've been watching Breaking Bad lately, so this is probably why. But like just desert areas, I really like the way it looks, and they have a lot of culture there, and like a lot of really fun and vibrant and beautiful colors and buildings, and I like this. So it's going on the wish list. This is the red that kind of sucked me in. This is by Danny Vienna, Ibis Escar... Oh, no. Escarlate? Escarlate? It's a bird. Um, 400 are available. It does not have any information on the polish itself, so I guess I will just have to pretend like I know what's going on. So it's like kind of a orangey red. Uh, with it looks like gold shimmer running through it. I have uh, one, I think just one, maybe two polishes by Danny Vienna or by by Danny Vienna. How do, how do you say that? I don't know. They're very good quality and I don't know. This red is kind of my vibe by Vanessa Molina. Glorious Sky. This one photographs so beautifully. Oh, look at that. Glorious Sky is a blue jelly base with aurora pigment, iridescent flakes, and hollow sparkles. This beauty is extremely smart and has a different varnish in every light and angle. It definitely is. I don't know if this is, this is probably supposed to be like an aurora borealis type. Looks cool, going on the wish list. I have a couple by this brand and they're both nice. Cadillacer. Is it a lech glacier? This is cool. It's a purple. It is the largest glacier in the Alps and a true landmark of Switzerland, dark gray with purple undertones, magenta red, orange, yellow shifting shimmer, and silver reflective glitter. So let's take a look at some of these photos. So yeah, I think that it's cool. It's really pretty, but the polish on its own is quite dark. And again, this is one where I'd be like, oh, I'll save this for fall, winter, and then forget I had it, and then like by next spring I'll be like oh I should have worn that and it's got all that reflective glitter and I'm just not not super in the market I'm not against it I just I don't know cameo colors lacquers gorgeous grinnell lake this is in glacier national park a light gray curly base with hollow sparkle a dash of indigo and purple shifting shimmer full of lime blue gold ucc flakes Turquoise green and blue metallic flakes, a smattering of lime and gold iridescent micro glitter, and silver hollow micro flakes, if that wasn't enough for you. There is a lot going on. It looks like this can be built up or worn kind of thinner, just depending on application. Oh, look, there's Nicole Loves Nails. And um, yeah, it, it's got a winter feel to me, even though it's a lighter color. I don't know. I just, this light blue, I'm not my jam right now. What is my jam? What do I want? I don't actually know. Cattail Absence of Light. I visited the Headlands International Dark Sky Park up in Mackinac City, Michigan and was blown away. 30,000 acres is free of artificial light, letting the natural beauty shine through. There was more color than not in the sky, reflecting off the water and kind of waving through the atmosphere. This is a black jelly with main shifts of pink and green, subtle blue and purple shifts, filled with super fine lilac galaxy hollow glitter and reflective silver glitter. You know what? I have been to Mackinac Island. Does that count? It was when I was a child, so I don't really remember it, but oh, I like this picture with the blue. But it is just too dark, but this is a cool like scene they set up. But yeah, okay, so I've been to one place so far that they've mentioned. <laughs> all right. Color Spectrum Polish, Wonder of It All. I can already tell 
This probably isn't super my vibe, but you know what this one kind of reminds me of? What was that Hollow Taco Got Cake, but like this one looks a little bit nicer than Got Cake? Um, it's inspired by the Foxwood Resort and Casino in Connecticut. A clear base with purple, pink, blue, sorry, with purple, pink, I can't read. With purple, blue, pink, aurora, iridescent flakies, scattered blue to purple metallic flakies, and hollow. This looks like it would just work the best as a topper because you can see that reflects the colors back. But yeah, that's straight up. It just looks like in the bottle, very much like got cake, but like less chunky, I guess, in a good way. Coloris de Carol Mosecos. Uh, Inspired by a photo of Ben Gurion Park in Pach uh, Pachuca, Mexico. My Spanish is not good, so I don't know a lot of like that stuff. <laughs> um, a multi chrome base with multi dimensional magnetic effect, holographic micro flakes, and UCC flakes. We have another magnetic here. It's got a very cat's eye look. I like that, but it's too dark. I don't know. There's a lot of dark polishes this month. Ooh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Crystal Knockout Fat Bear, inspired by Katmai National Park's annual Fat Bear Contest. What is the contest? You should tell me what the contest is. That's funny. Bright coral orange jelly base with crystal chameleon flakes in pink, green, gold, copper, and orange, and iridescent color shifting shimmers in mul or glitters in multiple sizes. A portion of each bottle sold of this shade will go to the Katmai Conservancy, an organization dedicated to preserving the land around the national park. This looks like it is pretty sheer, so kind of more, I guess it did say jelly, right? Yeah, jelly base. Um, I don't know. I have like an orange jelly flaky already that I don't really wear. So even though this is a fun color, it kind of reminds me of like Nickelodeon. I'm going to pass. Okay, my computer just totally froze and I lost all the footage for like the last 15 polishes. So we're just going <laughs> to run through them again. We have Cuticula's Belle Nuit, which is inspired by the Eiffel Tower. And Belle Nuit means beautiful night in French. This is a black jelly base with yellow and gold and orange gold glass flakes and silver reflective glitter. Now, as you can see, I did add this to my wish list. This is just like very interesting. I know I have been complaining the whole time, oh, too dark, too dark, you know, but this one did intrigue me, especially just from these three photos here specifically. I don't know what it is. So I did add it to the wish list, but as I have said in the recording that was lost, um, wish listing is not like a commitment. So if I just choose later on, I don't want it, I can take it out. But I do love Cuticula. And then we have Danglefoot Nail Polish Lovely London Sky. I, oh, and uh, with the Eiffel Tower, I've been there, so that was like the second of the landmarks that I've been to, so doing pretty bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is just not a tone of purple I like. This is inspired by an artwork of the London skyline in that original Mary Poppins film. I have never seen Mary Poppins. Um, I have no idea what the reference is. This is a rich fuchsia purple base with a subtle pink gold chrome shimmer and large silver flakes. And as you can see, those those big flakes, they kind of, um, they stand out pretty well against the polish, but it's just that color is just, I don't like that purple. And it looks so different in this picture versus all the other pictures, so I'm not really sure. We have Dew Nail Polish, Victoria Falls, and as you can see, I did add this to my wish list. And this is a super shifty multi-chrome. I'm not usually drawn in by multi-chromes, but this, like, series of pictures really sucked me in. Like, this looks like it's very, very shifty. It is inspired by the Victoria Falls in Africa, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. And apparently the color of the polish resembles the color of the falls at night, which is super cool. It says it has magnetic pigment pigments and there are 500 available. Dreamland Lacquer Firefall, again, on my wish list. Again, darker than I have been going, but there's something about this one. And it says, for a few weeks in February every year, the sun comes into alignment behind Horsetail Falls in Yosemite National Park. From the right vantage point, the falls light up like it's on fire. And I was saying, like, 
Imagine being the first guy to see that. That would be really scary, not knowing what was going on. It's a black jelly base filled with black holographic glitter, gold reflective glitter, and a strong coppery orange to forest green shift. There are 300 available. DRK Nails Pantanol, I believe. And this is inspired by Pantanol Mata Grossens National Park. I'm not sure where that is, and I'm very sure I said that word wrong. This is a super sparkly green magnetic surrounded by deep blue, turquoise, and copper accents. Now, I have quite a few blue and turquoise on my list already, so I passed on this one, but I do think that these blue, like, chunky flakes look really cool in this polish. Emily Damali, A Room with a View, inspired by Canberra Telstra Tower. This is a light gray curly base filled with small orange, gold, green, shifting iridescent flakies. Now this one looks kind of similar to a Live Love polish that I have and I recently talked about in my favorites video for black, gray, and white. So I did pass on this one, but it is really pretty. Envy Lacquer Katmai, and I believe we had another one inspired by this same location. This is pretty cool. It's got some red in here amongst the blue. It is a metallic flaky packed polish with blue and teal flakies, blue reflective glitter, and a red shift. And like I said, I did end up passing on this just because I have so many blues. Ethereal Lacquer Canyon. This one is cool. So this is, it's a beigey sandy base with a bright pink orange color shifting shimmer and tiny holographic flakies. Now, that's not my color. That's not my jam, but... 20% of the sales will be donated to the Navajo River, or sorry, Navajo Water Project to help provide running water to the Navajo people on Navajo Nation. So if you are looking to, like we have quite a few charity polishes in here, and if you're looking for another one, the Ethereal Lacquer is it. Fair Maiden, La Dame de Fer, like you can see, I definitely added this to the wish list solely because of like this picture here. Look at that uh, glitter or shimmer coming through, sorry. This is inspired by the Eiffel Tower at night. La Dame de Fer means Iron Lady in French, which is the nickname the French have given to their national treasure. This is a classic blurple. That word makes me want to throw up. <laughs> it looks both blue and purple depending on the lighting and photography. Packed with a fiery red, pink, yellow Aurora shimmer where the dominant is red. It does have reflective glitter on it. I don't care about that part. I like this. I like this, you know? So this is on my wish list. Fancy Gloss Be Free. Inspired by a beautiful picture of a sunset. This is a purple to bright pink, um, like, thermal. And like the purple pink, they look nice together, but I'm just not in the market for thermals right now, unfortunately. And this one does have reflective glitters in it as well, if you are into that. It almost looks like a tri-thermal, although it doesn't state that it is. I mean, you look at this picture, you can definitely tell. Okay, Garden Path Lacquers is kind of after my money. <laughs> this one's called Take to the Sky, and I have one from them, and I'm obsessed with it. So here we are again. It reminds me just a lot of, did I say this about one already? It's just like that purple and red reminds me of that like women's group where everybody wears purple and red depending on your age, I think. And this is inspired by a vibrant purple and orange sunset over the Grand Canyon. It is a saturated blue leaning purple base filled with red to orange aurora shimmer, holographic micro flakes and red to purple shifting iridescent flakes. And yes, I put it on my wish list. Glisten and Glow, Northern Lights at Acadia. This is one I passed on. I'm just not into this kind of a blue, unfortunately. It's like all of these types of blue, like every lighting, it's just not my vibe. It's inspired by the Northern Lights. And this polish is a reflective glitter loaded with flashes of blue, purple, green, and silver. Under low lighting, a gray hue with purple undertones shines through. And then under bright light or with use of flash, you can see a lot more of that reflective glitter. Just not my jam. Graceful Nail Polish Solid Rock. This is another one of those like duo multi-chromes that I just don't like with that yellowy tone to it. This is inspired by the sunset over Uluru in Australia. It shifts from pink, orange to soft red. Yeah, it's just that, that sunrise type of... Uh, multi-chrome is just not my thing. The, this one does have a cap of 130. Great Lakes Lacquer Kichitakipi. Is it Kichitakipi? I think they're all 
short eyes. I'm probably wrong. This one I did add to my wish list. This picture sold me, like this combo of these two pictures really sucked me in. And this is inspired by the big spring in the UP of Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, nicknamed the Mirror of Heaven by ancient Chippewa. This musty site reflects its surroundings year round on crystal clear waters. It's a sheer lapis base with a vividly glowing lime green to aqua to cobalt shifting shimmer. Very cool polish. And I have been meaning to buy from this brand. I am like, no, they're in Michigan. I should try all the Michigan brands and I just haven't yet. So I do have this one on my wish list. Hearts and Promises Once Upon a Time. You can see I skipped this one. This one's inspired by Cinderella's Castle, which I thought was kind of, I mean, I guess it's technically sort of a landmark, but I just, I, I don't know, that was weird to me. Um, and this is not a purple that I like to buy. I don't like this tone of purple, but it does have uh, gold flakies and shimmer as well as blue to purple UCC flakes. And there are 200 available. And this is where I left off. Okay, so this is Heather's Hughes Southern Lights. Now this, this is a, it's got huge flakies in there. Like, look at that. You can see, and like with the magnet, and I like this. This is really interesting. This a weird way to magnetize it, but I'm just not in the market for a hot or a magnetic. But I mean, this is cool to use it as the background for stamping. This is inspired by Bruni Island, which is apparently the place to see the Aurora Australis, aka the Southern Lights. Now, I never even heard of the Southern Lights before. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's kind of cool. This is a multi-chrome magnetic that shifts between red, pink, copper, gold, and green. It has red, orange, gold, green iridescent flakes and silver reflective glitter, and there are 250 available. This is Hit the Bottle Polishes Swept Away. This is a stamping polish. I don't really come to Polish Pickup to buy stamping polishes. I'm just not super interested. I have a ton of stamping polishes that are already severely neglected by me, so I'm going to pass. But this is inspired by the rock formation formerly known as London Bridge on the Great Ocean Road, Victoria, Australia. In 1990, part of the structure fell into the sea, leaving, oh man, that sucks, leaving two tourists stranded on the end. They had to be rescued hours later by a police helicopter. The formation is now called London Arch. Um, sandy Beige Stamping Polish and One Coat Cream, 300 available. I would not want to be on, I would never go on a bridge ever again after that. Indie by Patty Lopes, Mumtaz Mahal. Inspired by the Taj Mahal, blue, teal, and black metallic flakes, multi-chrome flakies, micro hollow flakies, and silver reflective glitter. That's pretty cool. This one, it's very, like, wintry for me, and it's pretty sheer. It looks like it takes a, probably a lot of coats to build up to opacity, and I don't really like a sheerer glitter, which is, I like, I love like sheer creams or jelly creams or something like that, but I don't like when the glitter shows a ton of nail through. So I will pass. Jen and Barry's Rave Venue, inspired by a local favorite, Red Rocks Amphitheater. The acoustics are world-renowned and the space hosts a wide range of musical artists, including many electronic dance music producers. This is a deepened red base with red and gold shifty shimmer, orange and yellow chrome flakies, red, orange, gold, crystal flakies, and splashes of black, red, and holographic micro flakies. And if you want this one, be quick, because there's only a hundred. This one has, like, super nice, like, fall feelings to it. Especially this, like, this is matte. Like, it looks like fire. It looks like leaves. It looks like leaves on fire. <laughs> um, what more can you say? And it's got some big, chunky flakies in there, but it's red. I'm going to pass. Dior Couture La Citadel Cap Haitian, Haitian? Is it a soft T? Haiti. Um, our inspiration is the magnificent La Citadel in Cap Haitian, Haiti. La Citadel was built by former enslaved people after fighting for their freedom. It is the largest fortress in the Americas. The main purpose of La Citadel was to prevent possible attacks from the French troops. It was built with an angular design, which gives it a different form when viewed from different angles. When viewed from the sea, it looks like a ship atop a mountain. That's cool. Caribbean green blue to lush foliage green thermal 
glow in the dark with iridescent gold, silver, green, red, copper, micro glitter. So this one has a lot going on. You can see it's thermal. Um, so I won't be picking it up, but I do. It's glows in the dark. Here's the three like color stages. It's got glitter in there. It's got so much and it's a really cool inspiration from the sounds of it. So definitely check this one out if you like any of those things I just mentioned because this one's cool. Kathleen and Co. Cherry Blossoms. Um, oh, I was gonna say, oh, I've seen Cherry Blossoms, but this is inspired by the DC Cherry Blossoms. I've never been to DC. This one is pretty cool. It's like a minty green with that like cherry blossom pink flip to it. Um, yeah, soft spring green bases loaded with pink shimmer and hollow flex. I am like 99% certain I have something very similar. I have a Kathleen and Co. or two. They're really nice polishes. And as tempted as I am by this one, I'm going to pass because I'm pretty sure I have a couple like this. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer Superior Sunset. And not really my favorite purple. Oh, I like that kind of greeny teal running through it though. Okay, I kind of like this. Um, inspired by Lake Superior, in the lands of 10,000 lakes, it takes something great, superior even, to be called an awe-inspiring landmark. Lake Superior in northern Minnesota, um, nope, sorry ma'am, that's ours, that's Michigan's lake, you can't have it, is just that, the largest of the Great Lakes, which are Michigan's by the way. Lake Superior <laughs> boasts a stunning shoreline and crystal clear waters that allow you to see 27 or more feet down, making it a must-see, awe-inspiring landmark. Okay, um, it is a fuchsia-leaning magenta nail polish, pink shade amplified by a color shifting shimmer that shifts through hues of green, blue, aqua, and sometimes hints of indigo. Gleaming bits of reflective glitter catch the light for an amazing sparkle. You know what's funny? It's like, I don't even love Michigan. Like Michigan's fine. There's like cooler places to live. But the second people try to take our stuff, I'm like, no, 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 no. Like every time any news channel puts a map on and they make the UP part of Wisconsin or Canada. I'm like, nope, give that back. That's not yours. I don't know. I'm just very defensive about it. Crisable Designs is a blow -up? Um, It's probably, it probably means bloom because it's inspired by tulip fields in the Netherlands. Oh, it means flower in Dutch. Okay, that's cool. This polish is a red leaning magenta base packed full of pink, yellow, pink, red, and yellow metallic flakes various iridescent flakes, black shreds, and tiny pale pink glitters. There are only a hundred available. This is very fun, very floral, like definitely feel the floral vibes from this. It is, of course, very red. So I don't know. This is very cool. This is not like anything I own. I'm going to put that on the wish list. I've never bought anything from Crucible Designs though, so now I'm scared to buy their red, but it's on the wish list. Lacquer is in the air, Milky Way in Death Valley. Inspired by the night sky in Death Valley National Park in California, part of the Milky Way in the park's collection. A teal base with green to orange shift, hollow flakes, and reflective glitter. Just super reflective teal polish. Nothing too crazy about it. Um, so I'm not like, like, I think it looks nice, but I'm not like crazy dying for it. So I'm going to pass. Leisha's Lacquer Dignity. This is inspired by Dignity of Earth and Sky. Is a 50 foot tall statue off of Interstate 90 in Chamberlain, South Dakota. She represents the courage, perseverance, and wisdom of the Lakota and Dakota culture in South Dakota. The quilt she has on her back is a star quilt, which represents honor and generosity in the Lakota and Dakota culture. It's a gray holographic base uh, with blue and purple flakies, rainbow flakies, and a touch of reflective glitter. I feel like I could be remembering wrong, but I feel like Leisha's Lacquer really loves these like rainbow flakies. I feel like it's either them or maybe Color Spectrum. They always have something with this in it. It's nice, but very silver leaning. I know it says gray, but to me it looks silver. I don't know. I'm not, it looks fun, but it's not enough for me to like want it super bad. Like if money was no object, if funds were unlimited, I would buy this, but I can already tell this would get knocked out in the first round of like narrowing my stuff down, so I'll pass. Lemming Lacquer 
Garden Rhapsody. So this looks like, ooh, we've got some shimmer in there. This is inspired by a light and sound show at the Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. It is a grape jelly with turquoise to blue to purple shimmer and reflective glitter. We can't escape the reflective glitter. This, uh, I don't want to say this looks exactly like Lucky Charm uh, by Color Club, which is one that I love, but it has a similar feel because it's got that green and that darker purple, and then it's got glitter running through it. So while it's not exactly the same, it's similar enough where I don't think that I want this, but I could see people who really wanted something similar to that picking this up. Lily Pad Lacquer Pink Lake. I pass. <laughs> it's too red. I, I've already got a couple reds on my thing, so. But this is inspired by Pink Lake, Western Australia. Crystal pink tinted base filled with color shifting crystal chameleon flakes and a scattering of hollow shards. 150 available. Um, I like the big shards. There's something about like big shards that are super visible. I really like that look, but this is just, like I said, I've already got a couple reds in my wish list, surprisingly. Lucky 13 Lacquer. I move the stars for no one. It glows in the dark. That's always fun. I actually kind of like this purple. Inspired by the castle at the center of the labyrinth from Labyrinth. I have surprisingly seen that movie like 80 years ago. I don't remember it. Slightly sheer lilac base with a ton of fuchsia, orange, gold, mint, green color shifting shimmer that glows a spectacular shade of aqua blue in the dark. And after coming inside on a spring day, <laughs> comes with tiny UV flashlight to help charge the glow quickly. That's cute. I wish they would show the flashlight. I want to see it. Um, that's a cool color that it glows. And I like this purple, but we're pulling out a spring fast. So this is like a spring purple. It actually kind of matches the button right here. Um, I don't know. I'm going to... I can tell I don't want it, so I'm going to pass. Lumen, Gate to the Stars. This one is pretty dark, so I know I'm not going to get it, but it does look cool. It's inspired by Alabama Hills, California. Well, that's a name. Um, a deepened navy multi-chrome polish saturated with holographic flakes and a red to gold to emerald shift. Emerald shift. Available 400, so they have a pretty big cap. Um, yeah, it's just too dark for me right now and what I'm looking for. I'm sure in the fall I'll be, like, looking for this kind of stuff. So I'm sure there will be something, you know, in this vein back when we get there. Linby Designs. Picture this. This is cool. It's a multi-chrome, it looks like. Inspired by Pictured Rocks, National Lakeshore, and Lake Superior. This is somewhere that I've heard is really beautiful and I've never gone um, oh, even they say, like, a stunning place I've never visited despite being born a few miles from them. And it is a blue to purple to pink to orange to yellow multichrome with added hollow sparkle. Definitely pretty, um, but I have multichromes in this vein. I think I even added a multichrome in this vein to my wish list, so we're going to pass. Maybe I should go in reverse alphabetical order next time. What do you guys think? MJ Lacquer, Bloom Where You Are Planted. This is pretty. Um, inspiration taken from the beautiful flowers at Glacier National Park, which inspires me to keep seeds of hope and try and make the best of all circumstances. Bloom Where You're Planted is a white crelly, uh, a white based crelly with purple metallic flakes, a sprinkle of fairy dust, and neon pink glitter representing seeds of hope. There is a cap of 180. This is, I know it says white base, but like all that purple makes it look like a very light lavender. And it is cool, especially paired with this uh, picture here. Those pops of pink really match up. I just, like I said, this is very springy and I'm feeling summer already. So seasons move so fast. Mumu Signatures Fantasy Castle. This is inspired by a, insp inspiration is a mysterious landmark from a fantasy world. Okay. Murky yellow with blue to purple UCC flakes, diamond flash blue shimmer, hollow flakes, and crystal gold flakes. A hundred are available. It is interesting. I like that yellow base, but I wish it was just a little bit stronger. It's like too jelly-ish, I guess, for me. 
Um, it's cool with the contrast of the flakes, but every time I see anything that's blue and yellow, I cannot help it. I immediately think of U of M because I went to school near U of M and, you know, people wore U of M gear everywhere and they were very annoying. <laughs> so I'm going to pass. Moonshine Manny, Pawnee Commons. This is inspired by the park that Leslie Nope is trying to make for the duration of the TV show Parks and Recreation. It's a neon jade with pink, gold, green shimmer and sapphire and violet and pink, gold, green iridescent micro flakies. Very teal. Um, it looks like you can kind of see a lot of more nail line than I would expect with a color this dark. I don't know if it's just some people's lighting. But especially like here, you can see, I can see the C curve anyway on like every single one of these nails. And I mean, this is a macro shot, so I don't know if that really matters, but I don't know. I have a lot of teals that I actively avoid wearing. <laughs> so MTK Designs, Spirit of St. Helen. Ooh, I don't like that color combo. This is inspired by Mount St. Helens and Spirit Lake. I like that they described it as a dusty pale celery green though. I love that. And it goes from that in the warm state to periwinkle blue in the cool state. It is a thermal with a bit of purple mid-temp transition accented with a sprinkling of copper and pink sparkles and copper shimmer. It's just not for me. It's not my jam. I don't care for it, but I think that there's going to be a lot of people who will like it. My indie polish, Just Peachy. This is a fun little, like, kind of like baby room yellow, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. It's a very light, nice, refreshing spring yellow. Um, it's inspired by the peach trees in Portugal. And it has um, lots of different glitters in there. It looks like we've got pink, light blue, light green. There's some black. Uh, looks like a little bit of purple as well. It just, it reminds me of, this kind of yellow reminds me of babies. I don't know why. So I, I can't, I can't even think about babies right now. That's too scary for me. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Nail Artisan Cosmetics, Knock Your Rocks Off. This is inspired by Antelope Canyons. Inspired by the absolute gorgeous Antelope Canyons in Arizona. A natural beauty to behold. Our polish incorporates the sultry, sandy tones with a rich multi-chrome base that shifts from purple, pink, burnt red and green finish with a light dusting of reflective holographic glitter for the extra glimmer i feel like with holographic glitter you kind of gotta go like big like the reflective ones you gotta go big or you gotta go home like i don't i don't want like a, a sprinkling i want it to be all or nothing and even then i don't even really want it so um there's a cap of 150 and I'm just going to pass. I just, I have so many multi-chromes. I don't need any more, I think. Oh, man. I think I have stuff like this, but I want this. Adding it to the wish list already. Nailed it. Lava at first sight. Inspired by Hawaii Vol Volcanoes National Park. A deep violet base packed with copper, gold, green crystal flakies, and red gold crystal flakes with a cap of 300. Literally, all you have to do to get me to want anything is to put a bunch of flakies in a purple base and then suddenly I'm like, yeah, I need that. Even though I have like 900 of them. So this will probably, I'm telling myself now, like get this off your wish list. You don't need this one. You have a lot, but I do want it. Native War Paints Mighty Mac. This is really pretty, inspired by the Mackinac Bridge. Uh, I've been there too. So that's like, what is that? Like four places I've been now on this list. Teal blue purple shimmer with scattered hollow in a lavender gray crelly base. There's 150 available. And it's 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 Michigan inspired, so I should want it, but it's like too white leaning, and you guys know my stance. That's a weird <laughs> that's weird. So usually like most of these are like something 50 or something zero zero, but this one's 1275. I like that weird price. Um, but I am going to pass. Never mind Apothecary Garden of the Phoenix. This one is interesting. This is like, this is chunky. This one needs like definitely a glitter grabber type. Um, inspired by Chicago's Garden of the Phoenix cherry trees, a periwinkle blue with cobalt metallic microflakes and light pink flakes reminiscent of cherry blossom petals 
falling onto a pond. Photos five and six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Show one coat over black plus top coat. All the other swatches show three coats. Okay, so this is one coat over black. This is three coats. So this is three coats and this is one coat over black. Yo, you, you better like to layer for this one. This one's really pretty, but I just, I don't want to have to remember to do that. I like it though. Ooh, let's see. It's intriguing me, so I'm going to keep it on that wish list and think about it. Night Owl Lacquer Delicate Arch, inspired by the Arches National Park in Utah. Pale Peach Linear Holographic with Rose Gold to Gold Shifting Shimmer. I'm going to say something that is probably entirely sacrilege in the nail polish community. I don't care about linear holographic that much. Like, I feel like everyone for a long time, like that was the thing, was linear holographics. And they're pretty and I like them and I have a bunch of them, but I'm never like pining for linears that hard. I don't know. I think that scattered's like I used to be the opposite. I used to think that linear was the top tier hollow and scattered was like, meh, whatever. But now I'm the total opposite. Let me know how you guys feel. This one's pretty. It's just like I don't I don't gun for the linears anymore like I used to. I don't know what it is. Taste change, I guess. I'm sure I'll pendulum swing right back, but whatever. Noodles nail polish, Trevi wishes. Hey. I've been to the Trevi Fountain too. Wow, okay, there we go, there's another one. Um, inspired by the Trevi Fountain in Italy and silver and copper coins tossed in when making a wish. It's a taupe crelly base with matte and metallic aqua, metallic silver, and metallic copper glitters. Dries with some texture. Apply one to two coats of top coat for a smooth finish. This is a brand that I really, 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 really wanna try. I really want to like them because Jody's Polish is obsessed with them and she always talks about them and their Crelly glitters. But the problem is, like every single one of their Crellys, I feel like is based in white, at least the ones that I've seen. And I'm just not a big white polish. I was gonna say I'm not a big white person, but I am a big white person. <laughs> I'm not a big white polish person. Um, and I don't know, I just, I have to pass. I, I can't because I... I'll buy this being like, I want to try the brand. And then I won't like this color because it, oh, it kind of looks like toothpaste. And, and then I'll be like, oh, I'm never going to buy from noodles again. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to pass. Paint it pretty polish own the sky. Whoa, that is vibrant. What is, how, how is that so vibrant? I went with a theme park type landmark of the wheel in Orlando, Florida. Around and around the wheel goes, taking park goers higher into the sky. It's as if you're suspended in a sunset. This light purple polish packed with shimmer that shifts from pink to copper to green truly glows. Oh, it's got that greeny yellow. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm going to... Oh, it's sheer. Let's see. Let's have a peek. Um, I've got one, two... Three, four, five purple or purple leaning polishes on my wish list right now. And I saw a bunch of them that I preferred. So I'm going to exit. Pampered Polishes Museum of the Future. Inspired by the beautiful, unique building of the Museum of the Future located in Dubai. This is interesting. This is a, a, like a metallic silver with black flakes. Okay, adding that to the wish list. I am. I was planning my favorite silvers and gold video recently, and I don't have very many interesting silvers. So this is an interesting silver. I like that. That's cool. Paradox polish from sea to shining sea, inspired by from glacier blit blit what <laughs> from glacier bay in Alaska, redwood forest national park in Cali, all the way to. I'm going to assume they meant Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and Canaveral National Seashore in Florida. Paradox is representing all of the National Park oceans. There are There's a little mermaid merman that lives in us all. A white crelly glitter bomb with neon blue and green glitter, hollow flake, and reflective glitter that portrayed the reflective glimmer of our oceans. I couldn't even tell this was a white crelly because there's so much going on in it. 
not a big fan of like the blue green together, like these two tones, but I like that even though it's a white curly, it's not white at all. <laughs> So that's fun. That's a fun one. Definitely wear a peel off base coat with that guy. Penelope Luz. Wow. What? Srusupan? I'm not sure. Inspired by Silver Temple in Thailand. Makes sense. All right. Chrome silver pigment and reflective glitter silver. There's a 700 cap. So pretty high. This is like this literally looks like somebody crushed up diamonds and painted it on the nail very very shiny very in your face i think that this one will sell really well it reminds me of like a disco ball you know um but i i don't i don't know i like it but not enough to purchase it i think that other silver i saw with the black in it was more my alley up my alley you know Phoenix, Paradise Island. This is another multi-chrome inspired by Themyscira, I think, Themyscira Island. This month, Phoenix Polish is bringing Paradise Island, an amazing polish inspired by the Themyscira, I'm deaf, somebody tell me how wrong I said that, Island, home of our loved Wonderland. Paradise Island is an ultra-chrome polish that shifts teal, blue, purple, pink, and orange. There are 500 available. I like this word ultra chrome. Like we've gone from duochrome to multi-chrome and now we've settled on ultra chrome. So I'm hoping that next is like mega chrome or something like that. But whoever photographed this did a really awesome job. I need to learn how to photograph multi-chromes because I cannot. But I have a lot of them, so I will pass. Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish on the Wild Colorado. This is definitely too dark for what I want right now, but very, very pretty. This is inspired by Horseshoe Bend, a deep forest green base loaded with strong red, orange, gold, green shifting shimmer and a scattering of blue, purple, magenta, small particle UCC flakes. This is really nice matte. That's fun. It, it definitely looks like that would stain my nails. And I like it, but again, this is like more of a fall color for me. Polish Molish uh, Maslenica. Wow, that's fun. Inspired by Eastern Slavic religious and folk holiday. It will be celebrated uh, February 28th to March 6th in 2022. I'm assuming this is probably from maybe last month or the month before and i believe this brand is located in russia um so maybe they just couldn't get it out with all things considered this is a nail polish with a strong red pink shimmer and reflective green glitter there are 108 available so if you're interested in this um take a look i have something Similar in these tones, minus the reflective glitter, so I will pass. Although I do, oh yeah, Hillary, it's right there. It's a Russian brand. So yeah, that would explain, I'm pretty sure this is probably like an older, eh, maybe not because this is for a folk holiday. So maybe that they're using that to loosely fill landmarks. I doubt it though. Um, but I'm going to stop speculating because I don't know. So I'm going to pass on this one. Polished for days, Glacier Skies. This is... Oh, look at how purpley that looks and then how blue it looks. Inspired by Glacier National Park, a periwinkle base with aqua pink purple shifting shimmer and reflective micro glitter. This is, there's so many blues, so many purples every single month. And then I say, oh, I want yellows, I want oranges. And then there's like two and then I don't want either of them and I always feel bad. I don't know. I'm overwhelmed by all the glitter. I think next time I am going to go reverse alphabetical order. Because I feel like by the time I get to like the end of the alphabet, I'm like, oh, I've seen so much. So maybe if I prioritize it backwards. Let's see next time. Psych Minerals Pullman National Monument. This is red, so you guys already know my answer. But it's inspired by Pullman National Monument in Chicago, Illinois. A rich brick red jelly with silver reflective glitter. Doing this has taught me how poor my reading aloud skills have become. And you guys should see just like how wide I open my mouth trying to enunciate. It looks insane. And I don't know if I said this, but there's a cap of 150. 
Red Eye Lacquer, DC Blooming. This is, yep, Cherry Blossoms. You guys, there are Cherry Blossoms outside of DC too. <laughs> a Mauve Pink Jelly with Orange, Gold, and Purple Pink Glass Flakes. 200 available. This is not my pink. I don't know what it is. This It's like kind of bubble gummy with like a purple lean to it. It's just not my pink. My granny likes it. I don't like this kind of a pink too much, but sometimes I wear it because my granny likes it. So I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this because I probably wouldn't wear it. And my granny only wears cream. So I couldn't really paint this on her nails, but it is I, this brand I'm interested in because I like their little frog logo. So Red Panda Lacquer, take a right at the big chicken. All right, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Inspired by the big chicken in Marietta, Georgia, it is a KFC that's in the shape of a giant animatronic chicken. <laughs> a lot of locals use it as a reference point when giving directions. Therefore, take a right at the big chicken is a minor Atlanta meme. Bright red jelly with gold scattered hollow, orange and gold crystal chameleon flakes, and a sprinkling of silver reflective glitter. 105 are available. That, I want to go, like, out of all of these landmarks that I've learned about today, this is the one I want to go to the most. I remember when I was a kid, we drove to Disney as a family, my parents, my brother, my sister, and I, and my little brother wanted to go to, not in Georgia, but he wanted to go to a KFC in Kentucky so badly. Like, he just felt like that would be the thing to do. I don't think we did, though, but I guess maybe someday. Restored by Polish by Restored Naturally. I can say that finally in one go. Sapphire Pool. Wow, this is very teal. Oh, I like, you guys, I don't see these very much. What are these called? These like half moon, like flaky thingies. Okay, let's read the description and then we'll talk about it. Inspired by the Yellowstone National Park. Um, It is, I guess they have hydrothermal features in Yellowstone. Are those the things that are like so hot that you can die if you touch them? I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up in my head. The turquoise color is stunning. You are not kidding. This polish captures the various shades of turquoise from deep and dark to light and bright. It's a curly polish with a dark turquoise base with a variety of lighter turquoise and silver hollow glitters and shreds to mimic the many different shades of turquoise seen in the actual sapphire pool in Yellowstone. Opaque in two coats, but three will give maximum glitter payoff. There are only a hundred available. So these little flakes, um, if you guys remember the first year that Hollow Taco was open, like for their anniversary, they released these three toppers that were just those like little like shredded flakes. And that was the first time I personally had ever seen them in nail polish. I know they existed long before that, I'm sure, but I've never really seen them again until just now. So they don't seem to be a very common thing. Um, but let me know if you guys know some other examples of like these little itty bitty flakes not these big glitters but just these little ones this looks really cool because when it's like layered over the top of each other because it's a jelly you can see these glitters they they add a lot of depth they're like suspended in the jelly polish and this is why i love jelly so much um i know a lot of people don't but i just think it looks so cool when you see like these varying levels of the color of the flakes that being said i'm not gonna buy this one because I do have several teals in my wish list already. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Rogue Lacquer, Purple Mountain Majesty. This is another one of those that kind of reminds me of Sully from Monsters, Inc. Anytime I see purple and blue, I'm like, oh, that's Sully from Monsters, Inc. So adding that to the wish list. Inspired by the Grand Tetons, Tetons in Wyoming. While this park is still on my bucket list, being in the mountains has always been my happy place. This is a turquoise-based crelly with metallic purple flakes, simple and serene like the mountains. Man, you guys, I have not been to a lot of places that aren't cities. <laughs> I'm a big city freak. I think because I grew up in the country, I'm like, all right, I've, I've done my time. Send me to the city and I just never go to monuments. I need to start. Saki Cosmetics Dryads, inspired by Dryads. It's a forest green nail polish with peridot. Is it, is it peridot or is it peridot? Because I feel like it could go either way. Micro flakies. 100 are available. This is 
kind of interesting. See, this picture right here makes me think of zombie zest. Like this looks like China Glaze zombie zest from a couple angles. So if if you guys, if anybody has zombie zest and they buy this, compare them, let me know. Like, because it kind of resembles it. But I have zombie zest and it looks so similar that I don't want to buy this. But it's cool. Sassy Cat's Lacquer Dreaming of Central. Inspired by Central Park NYC. I've been there too. Um, so that's like, what, five now? But this is not my color flip. It is a scattered linear hollow and pink gold orange in a tinted mauve base. Okay, wait, what? How? How does it, how is every picture pink except for this one? If it was this color, I want it, but I'm confused. It doesn't even say there's blue in it. How did they take this picture? Someone tell me. It looks cool. Um, but because the rest of them don't show anything like that, I'm wary and I'm going to pass. Sassy Sauce Polish. I really like this brand name a lot. Like Sassy Sauce is just fun to me. This is Zion Sunset. Inspired by a photo of a cave in Zion National Park, Utah. A rustic cream base with a strong rose shimmer. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It looks orangey. It's too... I don't know. I'm just not a big... It takes a lot for me to want a red. I don't know why that is. Like, it's black light reflective. That's cool. It's got 500 cap, but I'm going to pass. Soothing Soul Nail Lacquer, Majestic. Oh, I kind of like this, but I know I have stuff like this, but I don't know. Inspired by Great Smoky Mountains National Park, a beautiful shifty polish. You can see purple, pink, and blue, depending on how the light hits it. It's especially majestic in the sunlight, just like the Smoky Mountains. Cap of 100. I don't see the shift. Be oh, I guess it's a little bit strong. I prefer a super shifty shimmer. Um, it is pretty, but I think I'm going to pass. Sweet and Sour Lacquer, City of Love. I feel like, mm, is this magnetic? I guess I should look. Inspired by a photo of the Eiffel Tower. Pink to green to gold magnetic polish with gold, pink, green, metallic flakies. 100 are available. This, how would you describe this color? It's like magenta? Um, yeah, no. I thought that said magenta, it says magnetic. Like this kind of like purpley tone, it's just not mine, not, not my favorite. Um, I do like the name of this one too though, Sweet and Sour Lacquer, that's cute. Sweetheart Polish, Save the Turtles. Inspired by Cape Hatteras National Seashore and their sea turtles that can be seen laying eggs from mid-May through August and their babies can hatch from July through September. Save the Turtles is a pale blue shimmer with a green flash and a splash of linear hollow. So something about this is they will be donating a dollar per bottle sold to the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. If you're interested, it looks like they have a link to like that website. Um, I like the the sentiment. My issue is if, if you say like, oh, we have a green flash or like linear hollow, I wish I could see that a little bit better. Unfortunately, they only have one photo because I, I love a green flash, so I would love to see that, but I can't, and I don't want to buy it without seeing that. Ooh. Twisting Nether Lacquer Under Light Canyon. Now, I'm already feeling mixed, because, like, here, beautiful. Love the colors. Here, I'm wondering if, like, the lighting is playing a huge effect on how it's perceived, because it looks a little bit duller here. Um, you can see through the polish a little bit. Now the polish looks darker. Now it looks brighter. It's so hard. Everybody's got different cameras. Even my computer screen, I'm sure, is showing it a little bit differently. I, I think I have to pass because as much as I really like this color in the brighter side, it's too dusty when it's not under light. The other problem, I think I have three different twisting nethers, which I got in a, like a D-stash. And they all have different bottles. And they're all different from this bottle. So I will just get mad <laughs> if I have four polishers from one brand and they're all in different bottles. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I'm going to pass. What Addiction Polish Petrified Blue Mesa. 
This one is interesting. It looks like it's got some range to it. Uh, inspired by Petrified Forest National Park, a purple tinted jelly base filled with a variety of crystal flakes, extra sparkly glitters, and blue shimmer with a cap of 150. When I was younger, I had a big chunk of petrified wood and it did kind of have this like, I don't know if that's what they're going for, but like this kind of like purpley like tone to it when you look through the light just right. So it was pretty cool. I just, too dark, too dark of like this blue. I just am not into like, look at how dark it is here. I just am not feeling it. Watcha Cathedral of Se, I believe. Inspired by the historic cathedral in Sao Paulo. Magnetic gray base with reflective silver shimmer and turquoise micro flakies. 250 are available. It doesn't have many pictures, just the one. It looks nice, but I would like to see other angles. That's the problem. Like if I see a polish that only has one picture, I feel like I'm less drawn to it just because I, I don't see enough angles. And with indie polishes, they are so, they have so much depth, so many different things going on that I have a hard time committing based on the one picture. Wildflower Lacquer Arctic Passage. I just got my first wildflower from the last polish pickup. Let me tell you guys, it is it was beyond expectations amazing. Um, this is inspired by Dollywood at Christmas time, a deep cyan blue base with purple to pink to orange shifting shimmer, magnetic holographic pigment, and scattered hollow flakes. 600 available, so they have a pretty good cap size. It is, I don't know, it's, it's magnetic, that's cool, but I'm not interested in magnetics right now. I just never... I cannot get the magnet line to hold. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to get a magnetic top coat. But, you know, the last wildflower I got was blue. I want to try some other colors from them. It was a flaky, though. and it, Like, it was loaded with flaky, so it seemed like it was going to be really thick. But it laid down on the nail so well, so it definitely sold me on the brand. So I will keep following them. And then, last but not least, Zombie Claw Hanging Lake. This is another kind of blue and green kind of... Um, water theme looking like polish inspired by Hanging Tree Lake in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. A deep lake blue feel with green gold flakes and silver reflective glitter. Now, I don't usually love the green and blues together, but this one honestly does a good job. I think that the flakes contrast enough in the right way. They kind of look like lily pads in like a pond. You know what I mean? But I'm just not I don't know. I'm not interested. I feel like, I guess I added everything I wanted early on, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this talk through of it. So that's everything. Um, I guess, let me like look at the top and bases really quick. Cause I know one time they had a magnetic top coat, but I guess not. So if you guys know of a good like magnetic top coat, let me know. So let's take a peek at my wish list. We've got six, 12, 17, 17 total and you guys look like there's so much blue and purple on here it's kind of crazy but look at we've got one red we've got two reds let's see if they make the cut we've got a couple darker polishes i can already tell i might knock a few of these out i tend to only limit i limit myself between like two to four polishes each month just because i know other stuff is going to be coming in and I don't want to overspend too much right at the beginning of the month because my budget, the way I budget, is on a monthly system. So if I spend everything I have for my spending money on like the 3rd of May, that means that I've got to wait another like 27 days before my money resets. And I don't want to do that. So that's why I try to keep it to like two to four. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments if we have anything similar on our wish list, what you guys are going to pick up. Talk me into picking up one of these reds. Demand that I do it. And I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.